when we display modules in loops at shows or even at lug meetings, we sometimes get asked about the easiest way to get into GBC. In the past, we could recommend something like the Dozer Compactor alternate model, a module made of a small set and a medium motor, both easily available and relatively cheap components at the time. Sadly, the LEGO Technic landscape has changed significantly even from three years ago. Three particular issues come to mind. One, small Technic sets usually have mechanisms controlled by linkages rather than gears, a trend that has only gotten worse over time. Two, these same sets often get refreshed on a yearly basis, and they become both rare and expensive after they leave stores. Three, the price of a basic official Technic motor and battery box has nearly tripled since the Power Functions days. Designing a starter module from a set worked well because we could get all the parts from one source. Unfortunately, given issues two and one respectively, this now means making a new design every year and making it from increasingly suboptimal sets. Thus, I wanted to try a different approach. I wanted to build a simple module that could regularly come from a single BrickLink seller at a reasonable price. To achieve that goal, I have to balance the following constraints on components. One, the module should use the fewest number of unique pieces. Different part types usually increase seller count more than total parts. Two, individual parts should have high availability and low cost, though some things like large gears are never cheap. Three, I would still like to keep the total part count down uh, despite what I just said about different part types. On the flip side, I did not want to prune the parts list to the point that I had to use egregious building techniques or compromise structural integrity. The mechanism would have to be simple to keep parts down and reliability up. I also wanted to make it more practical and in spec than, say, a 10 by 10 stepper. After not too much messing around, I came up with the first iteration of what I call the single seller stepper. This 200 piece module uses 30 unique parts, mostly basic bricks, compared to 50 unique parts for my much smaller 10 by 10 stepper. The admittedly shallow input does hold a full 30 balls, and the step outputs above 10 bricks and through a small funnel. The casing around the step has some relief features, such that the step itself does not bind, and the mechanism easily maintains one ball per second. I made the drivetrain slightly more complicated than absolutely necessary in an attempt to mitigate the difficulty and expense of obtaining motors. First, the module can easily convert to shared power with just a few extra gears and axles. Second, while the net gear reduction of 1 to 25 drives the step a bit slow with stock motors, it helps better accommodate cheaper third-party motors, which often run a little fast. 
But after all that, can I actually buy all the parts from one BrickLink seller? Well, as of this writing, more than 10 sellers in the US have the right parts, but only one or two have them at a reasonable price. That being said, I can tweak the parts a little bit, say replace the 2x10 plates with 2x10 bricks, and generate another list of more than 10 sellers with the right parts and one or two at a reasonable price. While this design does still require buying a motor separately and potentially from a different source, I hope that I have used enough basic parts such that all of them will remain available for the foreseeable future. And if not, I can substitute one or two parts instead of designing a whole new module. On that note, this is the end of the video. Uh, please consider subscribing if you like what we do, and have a nice day.